Well, speaking of New South Wales, the Treasurer, Matt Keane, who's one of the greenest politicians in the country, despite being a member of the Liberal Party, he's complaining that West Australia won't give New South Wales cheap gas. And as you mentioned, the New South Wales government has been sitting on a deposit of gas at Narrabri, which Santos has wanted to extract for years. So is it a bit lame for Keane to be complaining that WA won't give him cheap gas when the, ga when the state's got plenty of it anyway? Look, it's not, not for me to describe Matt Keane as being lame. I, I wouldn't do that, but... I'll leave that for others to say. <laughs> well, me, for example. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, I'm not encouraging you. <laughs> but I mean, the, the fact is that if you go back to Matt Keane's energy roadmap, which came out, I think, about three, four years ago, perhaps. No, three years ago. You will struggle to find a reference to gas in there. Like everything's going to be renewables, more wind, more solar. Uh, batteries, of course, he's going to build big batteries. And there's barely any mention of the role of gas. I know because I've been through that report quite quite carefully. And yet gas is what is, you know, basically, it's like, a you know, trying to mop up after an incontinent uncle, isn't it? That, that <laughs> gas is what we use to mass, mop, mop, mop up the mess that renewables create by, by firming them up. You know, we fire up. It's actually quite a good way to do it, right? You fire up the gas when the, the renewable, because you can start it up quickly and that's how you... You, you make up for the fact that they're, they're not on most of the time. So that's fine, but you've got to acknowledge that. Uh, and actually, it's interesting if you look at the energy uh, profile of South Australia and WA. In South Australia, it's stark. You know, they've lost, remember, they, they didn't just close their power stations down. They had sort of public holiday, I think, on the day they blew them up. So they've got no coal. Uh, they've got a lot of renewables. And they also, thanks to their, they've got the Cooper Basin, in, in reasonable proximity, they get a reasonable supply of gas. So gas is basically keeping the lights on in South Australia. So it's gas and renewables. In WA, it's, it's pretty much the same, except they've got some coal. So that's that obviously is a short-term solution. It's not the long-term solution, but if you want to make up for the closure of coal-fired power stations, gas is the, what they're turning to all around the world. Yeah, uh, and we've got to start. We've got to start extracting more of it. Well, we do. I wish it were. I wish it was more of an election issue, but uh, it doesn't seem to be. Anyway, let's talk about uh, mortgage rates because some economists are forecasting retail. <coughs> excuse me, retail mortgage rates of eight percent next year. That's going to add two thousand dollars a month to the average family budget compared to before the election. Now, Nick, housing, house prices are tumbling as a result, but I'd suggest that the problem is not the interest rates. It's the cost of the houses in the first place. Hmm. I mean, if, 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 if we didn't have to spend so much actually buying the house, then the interest rates wouldn't be so uh, catastrophic when they go up because we wouldn't be quite so in debt. So what in your opinion, is causing house prices to be so high? Yeah, well, same as gas, right? Lack of supply. You know, it's the basic thing called supply and demand, which I learned about at school. I don't think they really teach it at school anymore, do they? We <laughs> seem to have a whole generation of politicians who don't seem to understand the term, you know, that, that if when supply, if demand exceeds supply, the price goes up. Now, that's economics. 101 is capitalism 101 if you like uh, but you know whether it's gas or whether it's housing prices they're not joining the dots you know they're putting it down to other things i'm sure there's a lot else in housing prices too i mean there's a as you know there's an awful lot of government charges and taxes go into a house now which actually take if you're building on you know some if you've managed to find a block out there near liverpool or something you are spending more on government regular regulatory Indeed. Costs and you Indeed. Are, and actually the but the, but the key order. 